hey, we're better than these guys, like, for real. Yeah. New Panther safety Jeremy Chen brings a unique combination of athleticism and versatility to the safety position. Coming out of high school, Chen wasn't highly recruited as he suffered a series of injuries during his junior year and he kind of went under the radar. During his senior year, he was st stood out and made all Metro honors in the Indianapolis area and that earned him a scholarship to Southern Illinois University. At Southern Illinois, Jeremy Chen showed out as he earned all conference honors during his junior year and second team All-American honors during his senior year. His performance during his final season at SIU earned him an invite to the Senior Bowl where he stood out and helped improve his draft stop. His Senior Bowl performance combined with his elite, elite performance at the NFL Combine where he tested over the 99th percentile in terms of athleticism allowed him to rise up draft boards and become one of the top safety prospects in this year's draft. So what we're going to do in this video is look at what Jeremy Chen's going to bring to the safety position and address the kind of versatility that will add to Phil Snow's defense. The first thing that stands out about Jeremy Chen is his closing speed and read and react ability. When he's able to process what's going on in front of him, identify where the ball's going, you just see that downhill burst that he's able to have to get after the running back and get the ball carrier on the ground. Like on this play, North Dakota State's going to run the sweep towards his side. You just see once he sniffs it out, how fast he's able to attack downhill, get the running back on the ground, and get stop the play for a minimal gain. On this play, you're going to watch North, Youngstown State rather run this play-action pass, and they're going to leak their tight end out of the backfield into the flats. Watch Jeremy Chin. He's going to read the quarterback's eyes and watch him attack downhill, chop the tight end on the ground, and stop the play for another minimal gain. And on this last play, you're going to see Jeremy Chin lined up kind of as a box safety and the team's going to run this pin pull concept with the, the center and the tackle pulling around. Jeremy Chen goes through his keys and watch how quickly he's able to attack downhill, cut off the running back's angle and stop him for no gain. Now let's talk about Jeremy Chen's versatility. One way which he was used a lot at Southern Illinois was as a dime linebacker. At this position, he's an effective blitzer as he's used that closing speed and athleticism to get to the quarterback. Look, look how fast he's able to close that distance between him and the quarterback, get in on the sack, force the fumble, and then get the recovery to cause a turnover and get good field, field position for his offense. And again, here against North Dakota State, you'll see him at this dime linebacker position, how he's able to not only get that close the distance quickly, but watch him dip right under the center get after the quarterback and record another sack for his team. So that's the way he can be used as a blitzer from either as a dime linebacker position, maybe blitz him off the edge and things of that sort. He's also effective as a robber or rat defender as that dime linebacker. Here he's going to read the quarterback's eyes while keeping awareness of what's going on behind him. Here he does a good job of disrupting the passing lane and causing the incomplete pass. They use this package particularly on third down. Just have him as that robber or rat defender to try to take away those intermediate routes. As here you see him reading the quarterback's eyes trying to take away those intermediate routes. Here he's not as fortunate, but you know it happens. This isn't a highlight tape. We're going to show everything, but that just shows you another way that he can be used. He can also be used as a single high safety or a two deep safety as he has a very good range and ball skills. Like here you'll see him get to the sideline, high point the ball, grab the interception, and then once he gets the ball in his hands, he knows what to do with it. He gets a big interception return. You again see that athleticism come into play. He's able to set up his offense with good field position. He also has ability as a single high safety, as you'll see here. Going to read the quarterback's eyes, open his hips. And watch how fast he's able to sprint to the sideline and then get up, high point the ball, get two feet down and make the interception and force another turnover. So again, you just see the playmaking ability and versatility he possesses. Chen was also used as a slot defender where he was tasked with covering opponents number two and number three wide receivers. Here he's going to be at the top of your screen lined up against the number two receiver in the slot. He's going to start with the shuffle. So what this does, it allows him to be prepared to break on any in-breaking or out-breaking routes. And if need be, he'll turn his hips and run with the receiver should he go on a vertical route. As you'll see here, the receiver is going to turn vertical. But Jeremy Sin is going to turn his hips and run with him, basically like he's running the route with him. Once the receiver turns his head around, you'll see Chen get his head around as well. 
locate the football and get the pass breakup. Then on this play, you'll see him in the inside slot receiver here against the number three receiver. And again, you're going to start with the shuffle. And as the receiver closes your cushion, he's going to get on his hip, turn and run with him. He's going to be with him step for step and force a tight throwing window for the quarterback. And you see it's another incomplete pass. On this play, Jeremy Chin's going to be matched up with former Ole Miss wide receiver and current Tennessee Titans standout A.J. Brown. Again, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to start with his shuffle to be prepared to break on any in-breaking or out-breaking routes. Once his cushion gets threatened, he's going to get on the receiver's hip, turn, and run with him. Now, he doesn't get targeted here, but I'm just more showing you this to show the kind of confidence that his coaching staff had in his coverage abilities. Then here against Ole Miss, you're going to see he's going to have the inside slot receiver again. He's going to shuffle, then as his cushion gets eaten up, he's going to get on the receiver's hip. Once the receiver turns around and looks for the ball, you see Jeremy Chin get his head up. He's just going to swipe down to be able to help break up the pass and cause another incompletion. So up to this point, we've seen Jeremy Chin play free safety, whether as a single high safety or in a split safety look. We've seen him step into the box as a strong safety and be that contained defender against the run. We've seen him line up as a dime linebacker where he can be used as a robber slash rat defender and take away those intermediate routes reading the quarterback's eyes and he's also been used as a slot corner where he's covering opponents number two and number three wide receivers well at the senior bowl jeremy chin was taking reps as an outside corner and he showed a solid a solid skill set there as well now i don't expect him to be playing outside corner in the league you know covering number one wide receivers but with teams splitting out their tight ends and running backs out wide i think this is an area that we can also add value to phil snow's defense so next, let's take a look at some of Jeremy Chin's reps in the Senior Bowl as an outside corner. In man coverage, the first thing you want to do is pick a side. In this case, Jeremy Chin's going to take inside leverage, so he's going to use that sideline to his advantage. The key is to stay as square as long as possible, so take that rhythm stack, that shuffle, and then when the receiver finally commits to a side, he's going to cut him off at an angle and get attached to his hip and run with him step for step. So right there, you just like to see how smoothly he transitions from that shuffle to a sprint. And once the ball in the air, look how he's able to turn his head around and locate the football and force that tight window throw. Nowhere for the quarterback to put the ball. So you just see the kind of potential he has there as a man cover corner. Here he's going to be against Wilder Dane wide receiver Chase Claypool. Again, he's going to be playing inside leverage. And watch Chin here. He's going to do that quick uh, rhythm step in that shuffle. Then once Claypool commits to a side, Chin's going to be able to get attached to his hip. What he does a good job of here is going chest to chest with him while still looking back at the football to help prevent that back shoulder fade. So again, that's a good, solid play in man coverage. Then on this play, again, Chin's going to be playing inside leverage. The receiver's going to do this hard inside move, and this time Chin's going to take a bit of a false step and allow the receiver to get separation upon the release. But what Chin does well here is his recover. As he gets back on the receiver's hip, still gets his head around to locate the football and force that tight window throw at the back of the end zone. As you'll see here, the receiver's only able to get one foot down, and that's not a touchdown in the NFL. And lastly, let's watch him against Baylor wide receiver Denzel Mims. Again, he's going to stay patient. He's going to keep square. You know, once the receiver commits, he turns his hips and runs with him. Might be a little bit of a push off there. Maybe they call it, maybe not. But again, it just shows the potential and upside he has as a man cover corner. This is another skill that he can continue to improve on in his already diversified arsenal. And in the final part of this video, we'll just look at areas of improvement. The biggest thing I saw was just he had a tendency to keep his eyes peeking in the backfield and lost awareness of the routes that were going on around him. And I think that's just a common mistake that you see a lot of young players make in zone coverage. I think Steve Spagnuolo, the NFL defensive coordinator, said it best that the biggest mistake he typically sees with a lot of young linebackers and a lot of young defensive backs is that they're so caught up in looking at the backfield and being nosy on what's going on back there that they lose track of the routes that are going on within their zone area or get they don't get enough depth in their drops in their zones and don't have no idea what's going on behind or around them. So I just think this is something that will improve with experience. So there you have it. Jeremy Chin's versatility and elite athleticism should have you excited about what he can become as a pro. I know a lot of people wanted Isaiah Simmons early in the first round. And while Jeremy Chin's not on Isaiah Simmons' level in terms of awareness and instincts just yet, I think he has that elite athletic profile and versatility that could potentially have that similar kind of ceiling. This depends on how hard he works as a pro and how effective the coaching staff can utilize his talents. But overall, I expect him to be a versatile weapon in Phil Snow's defense, and I'm excited about what he can project as a professional football player.
Smart.